I have used list. How to use list? Like there was a drop down. This kind. So you can do drop down by going data and data validation. Here you have option list. Okay. In list you can type or select a list. Like this you can select or you can type. One, two, three, four. Like this. So it comes with a drop down. You can't enter anything here. It's a kind of validation. Okay. And the next thing I have used count if formula. Okay. Count if helps you that how many times one thing is repeated. Like uh, I repeat 21 here. So you can count with count if formula. Count in this you give the range and the criteria you want to count like this. Okay, so I want to count 21 in the following list. So I have two, oh, two. Two. Yes. two times. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can use count if uh, for knowing that this number is in list or not. Okay, like uh, I want to know that a, this 31 is in the list or not. So I can use count if select the range and my criteria. So it is returning 0. Okay, it is not there. Okay. 64 it is one time there and, and, and G, G5 can also be dynamic right what sir uh, G5 can also be dynamic so it could be changing too right correct 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 criteria criteria can be dynamic this is criteria G5 okay So we can uh, do by count a function. Then uh, any other new thing I have used range. Like you call it what you call it in computer uh, in Excel language we have references like E3, E5. When you select a whole list or whole data it looks like this the first column and the first cell and the last cell between there is column okay so to make the name remember remember easier you can give a name here like after selecting your range you can give a name from here okay i give the name data okay now next time i am just selecting that so it will show me data and when i am uh, referring data here that means this range okay okay uh, so th these uh, these concept i have used in uh, this named range named range uh, has some advantages over the normal references that it can be used over the sheet uh, from another sheet because uh, some of the features like data validation list feature doesn't support uh, uh, to get the data from another page another sheet okay but if you have converted in a named range you can use throughout the workbook. Oh, that's handy. Huh? That's handy. What's that? Oh, that's that's handy. Uh, Useful. Oh, okay, okay. 
So uh, that's how we use and uh, now let us begin with our attendance monitoring system. <coughs> I just copy this formula to some other place to take a reference if we need it. But we will try to create this uh, without a So now in this list I will I am going to create each and everything again. I am just uh, removing everything from here. Clear all and clearing all the things. Now no data validation here. So there is a simple list like simple data person I have some data of joinings and I just change their year uh, 2014 I this. I am replacing that is 2014 with 15 So first I need to do that first I need a list here for month and year. So let's I a list I have told you that go to data under press data validation, go to list and you can type the list. We have month name we need 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So 10 items will be there, 12 items. Now for year we will do the same thing, In list we will put 2015, uh, 2016, 2017, 2008, like 4 years. Now last time I told you about text formula. So in text formula, whatever the format um, uh, we want to change, we can uh, change with the help of text formula. I have told you that custom formatting we use to change the visibility only, but text from text formula we get the value in reality also. So in title I want to uh, uh, present, uh, I want to link with this thing. So how I will do, I will uh, type any text, attendance for the month, in inverted commas I will type month of, now I will concatenate it with text formula, a text, but it needs a value here, that should be date, to which I want to format like some date will be there and I will format as 4 time m then y y y y like in this format I want ok so I will do that uh, here we need date formula for that in date formula you can put year month day so month and year we have like year I am choosing from here, month I am choosing from here. So I need month and year but uh, for making it date we need day. So I am giving one like that just for getting the date. Okay. So this is the formula. Now it is linked. When you change it, it will change the month in last. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. So um, I have uh, increased the font here. Okay. 
so we have list and linked with this uh, our title now I need a calendar also so in calendar like this uh, for showing calendar we need to link it with this so for the month we may, we know the calculation excel does automatically so what I am going to do I will use date formula here for the same like year month and calendar start with first day okay so it is there now it is not showing because the area is less that's why it, but I want to show what the day only so go to custom and type DD for double digit day it is a date but showing as day okay now what I am going to do I am just in this date I am adding one okay two now I am dragging it and I'm making the same format so I use format printer it is not appearing uh, why okay because uh, this plus formula should be copied there here date formula copied so it is not picking right I am just copying this so you can see that as a calendar value you can see whole dates but there is a problem that uh, some months containing 30 plus, uh, 31 year, uh, days some months containing 30 days and February 28 or 29 so after like we are were working on September so we know that 30 months so it is showing me date of 1st October so I don't want that it should show like this okay so what we need to do we need to uh, uh, cap through I know that maximum days uh, of any month can be minimum month can be 28 okay which is from February so till 29 what I will do I will fix a function here with if condition we have a function like EO month which gives like EO month if I select a date oh end of month uh, yes <coughs> so it will give me the last uh, day of the month okay so that's how I am going to do uh, after 29 I am just amending this formula that if this one is greater than EO month uh, EO month of this date then what to do it should display blank otherwise the same formula okay uh, in which I will fix uh, this start date with dollars so I have done now I am dragging this okay now it is okay not coming but if we go to February so what happens here it is blank but there are errors here why because we have a formula like AF plus 1 so it is adding 1 in some blank value which is not possible so that's why it is giving error so what we can do here from this error value we can fix a error formula if error if there is any error then show blank okay so I am just copying the formula go ahead now it's okay so you can see it can move like a calendar okay now it is behaving like a calendar 
so i need saturday sunday in up this position also so what i'll do for saturday sunday we have text formula and below we have date so what we going to do just format text what we have what format we have to apply d d d abbreviated day name just this we will just drag it till end i just decrease the font so that it should be fixed so now when we are changing any data so it according to sunday monday because it's a date and we have applied text formula so we can see the changes of days are there and where we have we don't have anything there it is not returning anything okay so like this we have generated a calendar okay oh that's pretty cool okay so that's how we have generated a calendar but in my calendar one thing more was happening there that the borders of were also changing according to it so how we do it see for borders we have to just fix a function that if it is if the reference equal to blank this okay so we will use conditional formatting i told you with conditional formatting we can use any type of formatting okay so we are going to do after 28 so after 28 i will apply the formula here that if the reference has equal to this if true come here but i need to fix the value because i will apply on this single cell and then i will apply to the whole area so i need to fix the value as well so column i will not fix because i am i want this effect for another columns also but row i will uh, fix so row i have fixed here now i just copy this formula and uh, select this value go to conditional formatting new rule use formula and the and in format i go to borders so i will remove this borders from here okay remove this borders okay so it you can see it is applied now with the help of format painter i am applying to whole area okay it is not there now but when it oh, actually, okay that's interesting you can find this here i need to do custom formatting that ddd because it is it got disturbed dd so now it is working with borders also okay now it is done so i understood how we do it now we need color for saturday sunday i need yellow color so what i need to check i need to check this is it equal to sunday or saturday so or saturday what we go, going to fix there or formula because any of the condition if true so or will return true and what we need to format there true okay so or formula i need and the same fixation with dollars for row 
So this formula I will use and I will apply from here new rule use formula this one format I will use fill yellow okay now format printer apply to her okay now from custom format I need to do again and again if I am right. now if I am shifting the months to so this because it is a formula based condition formatting so it is just moving with Saturday and Sunday okay oh, that's amazing uh, looks very easy now yeah it's um, well it it looks easy when you do it but I know it can, it's pretty complicated <laughs> you will be expert after uh, creating this uh, one or two times you will be able to use <laughs> so easily <laughs> okay now so that's how we apply all conditional formattings for today for for today I need to uh, also fix so for today what is the formula simple formula you just put here if uh, this well uh, this date is equal to today just this one. If true, then another formatting. So this formula I will copy and apply new rule. Use formula. But remember, design a formula according to the cell where you want to start first. Just like I am selecting this D5. So I am preparing the formula for D5 only. Okay. Then I have to make a formula like this okay, where we drag and it should work like as we want. Like it should no, not move from fifth row. And it should move the column. So these dollars are important. So for today I need formatting this uh, a kind of blue formatting. I need and in font it should be bold okay so like this I am applying the formatting with format printer and applying to the whole area so you can find for today okay. now for the um, the function today it gets the um, time and the date from the from your current from the computer right from your from your uh, right lower corner that it gets that information <coughs> or does it get it from uh, somewhere else what's that when you um, use the um, formatting like um, find out what's like today like the, the, uh, the word today uh, um, because for for you today is Saturday but for me today is Friday yes yes it's uh, yeah. it, so uh, today function works today is a function actually which returns the current date yeah. it depends on system local time local date okay system local time okay okay in your area today will be your day yeah okay oh that makes sense then we need uh, traditional formatting for holidays also like uh, some government holidays which are not saturday sunday like national holiday, Christmas or like everything. So what we do, I have a list of holidays here. Now let's take some other list. From You can take the list from internet also. Basically we need dates only. List of holiday 2015 Canada Canada 
so where it is uh, but uh, date should be in date format so that it can be easily picked so we need simple date format Ontario. No. So there are some dates, but it does uh, it is too much. Let's take the Indian holidays because they are so much holiday in one month. You can see five or six. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, you can tell the Canadians don't like to work. Uh, yeah. So uh, we better we use Indian. India public holiday. So we also having uh, 20 uh, holidays, so 20 to 20 holidays, 20 to 22. Hmm. Like I, but we we have state wise different state for holidays. So we have some dates here. Let's take the dates. I don't think it is working fine because the date format is not proper. What I do, just for example, I just change this date to 2015. Okay. So that it should not confuse. Replace with 2015. Replace. So I have replaced. Actually, I don't need description here. Okay. It is just for uh, or you uh, you can put like if you need. So for holiday, what I am going to do? I have assigned one name as HL for dates only. Okay, means holiday list. I can change it okay. to holiday list so this for the day yeah for date only we have dates only okay for date only we will apply this i guess two more names the name you apply here you can find in name manager also okay so the available name you can see here so I am going to just remove the earlier names which are not required. There you can find if you click on the name you can find what is the reference which is the sheet name and what is the reference. Okay. So now I can use HL as whole holiday list like HL and control shift -in. so hl means uh, we can use with count if count if if this date under this criteria okay criteria will be this holiday list holiday list and then criteria for checking whether th uh, this date belongs into this list or not okay we will just have to if it is count, count if returns as one, then that means there, there is a holiday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like uh, if there is 25th Jan 15, so in January, 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 there is a Sunday. But if there is a holiday, like I choose this 25th Jan, 
so it will count as a one so for making a value compatible to true false what we will use greater than zero or not okay if it is greater than zero it will show us true and that uh, this is the point for condition on okay true if we select any other date where we don't have holiday it will show false so that's how we will identify this so i have to apply from here what i'll do from first day i have applied d5 d5 i need to fix row now this part I, I, I just see uh, all these uh, functions and these tricks they could be very useful for data analysis yes 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 i'm just showing the capability of this conditional formatting and formula okay. yeah yeah exactly now i want to put the formula here mm. I will supply here. In the go to conditional formatting, new rule, use formula, format. I will give some kind of orange color. After that, format filter and apply to whole area. So we can see that Sunday Monday is also highlighted. where there is a holiday it is highlighted now but now we have to set the priority also that which condition should be display first so as you can see saturday sunday has yellow uh, color and the holidays has orange color so i want this saturday sunday uh, should display first okay if there is a collision so what i will do i'll go to manage rules and in uh, this worksheet i have oh yeah then you set the priorities like yes, right. yes so i set the priority of move up today first and then uh, afterwards yellow then orange like this i can apply so you can see this it is very easy okay so i have applied uh colors also i uh, means uh, this one this thing also this saturday sunday and holiday now what i have to do i want to show some leave record so what i am going to do uh, now uh, let us work with formula also i want that uh, when i enter l it should be red and bold so from here i will type a formula in this cell because it belongs to every particular cell so use formula i will directly type equal to it is d6 when it is equal to l okay so it okay. will be formatted as it has to be um, large large l or small l does it does it matter which one uh, uh, no uh, yeah. if you press to l otherwise it will uh, a, a small and large doesn't matter you can give any one this is okay okay so i have applied red font and bold uh, red color and bold font here okay and then i format use this format printer here. so this is the entry of the data where i want to use so uh, be sure about selection where you want to show the these this kind of values okay so i have applied here so when i enter l it becomes red and bold so up to this we have done with conditional formatting okay now i can see the changes as per myself now we need 
a formula to fill the attendance automatically okay so for that uh, what is my concept that saturday sunday holiday i can get from formula also because i have, i was getting everything with the help of formula so what i am not getting with formula this leave record but i have to maintain the leave record so that it can be uh, visible through formula also so for that what i am going to do uh, i will make this kind of a database so what is in this database uh, i did a column here see i will enter employee id this uh, name will be get automatically and we have to enter the date date here date for leave so how will how will i create this first i remove the data validation from here because i have used data validation for employee id so i am removing everything so these columns i needed employee id name and date we don't require name exactly but if you want to uh, show just you can cross check the value that this employee id belongs to this name so just for that so employee id should come from data validation so what i am going to do i am just making it because i can't use like this uh, uh, i go to data validation list i have told you na if i want to select the values from this sheet it will not go another sheet it is not going so what we need named range so named range i will create a name range for it what i am giving eid employee id eid I have given the name names EID. Here, what I need data validation and in list I will give equal to EID. Okay, so all the employees ID is available here. so till down i will copy this kind of validation so how we copy validation just copy where the validation applied till down i have selected then go to paste special and we have validation okay now in every cell you will find a list and if you know we look up you can uh, get the i just select this cell and you know we look up um i'm not too familiar with it i i i've i've heard the term it's a vertical look up ah uh, vertical look up it is just uh, for getting the values from database like uh, in which we have four options available four parameters first is look up value that what you want to look up so i want to look up employee id i have say from this cell okay then okay. table array where you want to look up so i have given this one in this data i just fix it with dollars so that when i am dragging it should not be a uh, change then comma column index because i have selected two columns so i need to give the which column i want to access there which from which column i want to get the values because there are lot of columns two columns there so we can count in this data that one two which we have selected so employee id is in first column index name is on second column index in the selected data selected table array so i will give two here then we for exact match we need always use false or zero okay it is compulsory the last false 
so i'm not getting anything because uh, there is nothing if i select so i get this name from related to employee id uh, now it is, i want to i want to drag this formula to down but i don't want this error to come so what we have a error formula a error and when there is an error it should display blank so i'm just dragging this formula down now there is no error so i have applied the formula till down okay now i when i am just selecting the id i can get the name but i need a helper here for what like sandeep has taken leave on 9th of january okay 9th of january so how we are going to identify because we are picking through v lookup we are going to pick through v lookup so we need to customize uh, the lookup we need a unique uh, uh, value for every date and person for maintaining the record like employee id this one on this date so it was 9th jan 15 then okay, 9th jan 15 see if we select only whether there is 9th jan or not so we have this much of names here under 9 there are five uh, five cells available under this 9th date but we want to refer to this one this cell only only one cell so what is the uniqueness there that wherever i can find sandeep wherever i can find harish on this particular day so what we going to do the employee ids are unique name can be duplicate so what we are going to do for making it unique we are just going to concatenate employee id and date okay so i just drag this formula down Well, I, I, I can see once um, once you learn how to do this, it will save you tons of time programming. Uh, it's same kind uh, programming also. It, it is program programming with formula, and it is advanced Excel exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I like this is much easier to do than say if you try to code it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. so now i have applied the formula so just i am giving the date for vikas uh, i need to see vikas joining after 30 13 fab so he has taken leave on 17th fab so i will apply one more leave here 17th you just need to enter the date so okay and this unique value uh, this value because this date has some value so it get combined with your employee id so that makes a unique uh, value now what i am going to do there we look up what it does like you have 1 2 3 3 some cells and you have same here or just want to pick so what i am going to do i uh, if there is employee ids 
so I am going to pitch some of the employee IDs from here and then I want this value should come from this cell where these values are exist okay so there can be multiple of values so where these values are exist I need in front of data to be here okay so what uh, we look up structure is doing there like I just get some value put some values here I need to explain you we look up clearly so I uh, will search this thing this ID into this then in this cell I am selecting this data so that means if I uh, am searching to this so it comes by searching that here now I need to pick one value any of one of three so I will use column index which is in selected data one this two three so I need to give column index here so that's how we do we look up the lookup value will be this ID then the table array your whole data then column index which column do you want to pick so I want to pick in the second column so 2 and then range lookup parameter always use false or 0 so you can get the value from there uh, ok there is one so I just make it ABC so now you can get the same value here ok so it is like this searching for me oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. uh, so for making the same thing there also and then converting it to true so what I am going to do here I have a proper data table ok but what I am going to do I am just uh, selecting the whole range of helper and converting it to leave record so by the name of LR only now what we have uh, we have single range of data like this I for accessing this one I need one only ok so I can use count if also for the same like if I pick uh, for Sandeep or for checking any date what I will use count if we can do with VLOOKUP also it is a lengthy method but uh, we can use count if also count if LR that unique, uh, uniqueness of employee ID and uh, date is there now we have to create this one concat uh, no 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 uh, this employee code concatenated with date ok so we have to check that uh, this day he was on leave or not so it will return me a zero but on that day he was on leave like uh, employee code because on 17th Feb so this is jointly uh, what it uh, makes this number okay. so it will be searched there also so because and 17th Feb so in LR this code is available or not so it is available and then we need to fix what it is greater than 0 or not ok so this formula we are going to fix but before fixing this formula we need to lock also so how we I am going to start this this code in this code I want that this code should be uh, dragged in down because it should refer to another cell also but when I am dra dragging to right 
it should not uh, come with name or date of joining like this it should not go ahead in columns so I need to what exactly I need to block here fix here columns so in front of that I will put a zero uh, a dollar and in this case in date case I don't want this row should be increased so I will fix the rows okay so that's how I have created. Now this formula is okay. I just copy this formula. And he has taken leave now. So leave entry should be there. So leave entry for leave entry we have simple done with L na? so we don't need uh, this formula will be used in generating the values because here we have entered L and it is formatting oh, I got confused so we don't require let's start with formula only so for formula was uh, what next thing we need to use we will start our formula and first, first it will check that your date of joining should not be greater than this date ok so what we are going to do 